In the 20th century, scientists studying Mendelian genetics discovered patterns of inheritance that are more complex than the ones described by Mendel. A single pair of alleles of a locus may regulate the appearance of a single trait such as tall versus short in garden peas. Alternatively, a pair of alleles may participate in the control of several traits or alleles of many loci may interact to affect the phenotypic expression of a single character. However, the basis principle of segregation and independent assortment can be applied even to more complex patterns of inheritance. In this video, we will look at how Mendel's simple ideas can be extended to provide a more complete view of genetics. Filiotrophy. Filiotrophy is one of the deviations among the deviations of Mendelian genetics. In filiotrophy, one gene influences many characteristics. There are so many examples of filiotrophy. In humans, filiotrophic alleles are responsible for the multiple symptoms associated with sickle cell disease. The gene for sickle cell disease affects the type of the hemoglobin produced, affects the shape of the red blood cells, cause anemia, cause organ damage, also is related to susceptibility to malaria. This figure shows shape of the red blood cells in sickle cell disease. This figure shows the mutation which is caused to sickle cell disease. Multiple alleles for one gene existing of more than two alleles in a population. Gregor Mendel only studied traits in his pea plants that showed simple or complete dominance and had only two alleles that could contribute to any one trait the plant showed. But most genes exist in more than two allelic forms in the population. As an example, the ABO blood group in humans involves three alleles, IA, IB and I, which leads to four blood groups, A, B, AB and O. The IA allele codes for galactosamine molecules on the red blood cells, the IB allele codes for galactose molecules on the surface of the red blood cells and the I allele codes for no sugar molecules on the red blood cells. In this case, IA and IB alleles are co-dominant with each other and they are both dominant over the I allele. Although there are three alleles present in a population, each individual only gets two of the alleles from their parents. This produces the genotypes and phenotypes shown in the figure. Another departure from simple Mendelian genetics occurs when the phenotype of a character depends on the environment as well as the genotype. For example, the acidity and free aluminium content of the soil affect the color of hydrangea flowers which range from pink in basic soil to blue-violet in acidic soil. Another example is the change in the fur color of Siamese cats with the internal temperature. The CH allele in Siamese cats encodes a heat sensitive version of the enzyme tyrosinase which is involved in albinism. CH version of the enzyme is inactivated at temperatures above 33 degrees Celsius. At the surface of the torso and head, the temperature is above 33 degrees Celsius and tyrosinase is inactive, producing a whitish coat. At tips of the ears and teeth, the temperature is usually below 33 degrees Celsius and the enzyme is active, allowing production of melanin that turns the coat in these areas a dark color. Incomplete dominance and codominance. Incomplete dominance is a form of intermediate inheritance in which one allele for a particular trait is not expressed completely over its paired allele, this often resulting in an intermediate phenotype. Incomplete dominance occurs as neither of the two alleles is completely dominant over the other. The resulting phenotype is a combination of both. One common example for incomplete dominance involves the inheritance of Japanese 4 o'clock flower color. Wild type flowers 
tend to have red flowers, while pure flowers with no coloration genes are white. Mixing the two results in pink flowers. Mixing the pink flowers results in red, pink and white flowers in 1 to 1 ratio. This figure shows the P and F generations of Japanese 4 o'clock flowers. Codominance refers to the dominance in which the two alleles or traits of the genotypes are expressed together in offspring. There is neither dominant nor recessive allele. Rather, the two alleles remain present and formed as a mixture of both alleles. Each of the alleles has the tendency to add phenotypic expression during the breeding process. In some cases, the codominance is referred to as no dominance due to the appearance of both alleles in the offspring. The phenotype produced is distinctive from the genotype of the homozygotes. An example of codominance is seen in the MN blood group system of humans. MN blood type is determined by two codominant alleles M and N. Individuals who are homozygous for the M allele have a surface molecule called the M antigen on their red blood cells. Similarly, those homozygous for the N allele have the N antigen on their red blood cells. Heterozygotes, those with both alleles, carry both antigens. Genotype MM calls for the M blood group. Genotype NN calls for the M blood group. Heterozygote genotype calls for the MN blood group. Polygenic inheritance. Polygenic inheritance occurs when one trait is controlled by two or more genes. Polygenic inheritance occurs when one enteric is controlled by two or more genes, also known as quantitative inheritance. Human skin color is a result of polygenic inheritance. Skin color is controlled by three genes and these genes are written as A, B and C. Skin color depends on the amount of a black pigment called melanin present. Skin color depends on the amount of a black pigment called melanin present. Each dominant gene is responsible for the formation of a fixed amount of melanin pigment. The more capital letters show skin color towards the darker range and small letters towards the lighter color of the skin. Parents having genotype, dominant homozygous and recessive homozygous will produce offspring of intermediate color in the F1 generation. In the F2 generation of two triple heterozygous mate, they will give rise to varying phenotypes ranging from very dark to very light. Gene Interactions In gene interactions, a gene at one locus alters the phenotypic Expression of a gene at a second locus. Epistasis is the interaction between genes that influences a phenotype. Genes can either mask each other so that one is considered dominant or they can combine to produce a new trait. As an example, Labrador Retriever's coat color depends on two genes. One gene determines the pigment color, capital B allele, Black, simple B allele, brown. Other gene determines whether the pigment color will be deposited or not. Capital E allele, color deposit, simple E allele, color not deposit. In this chart, you can see how the Labrador retrievers receive their coat color due to the interaction between two genes. There are five types of epistasis additive, complementary, recessive epistasis, dominant epistasis, and duplicate genes. You can get more information such as inheritance pattern, genotypic ratio in the figure given here.